We are now one step closer to more filled potholes, better bus service and some widened roads. The city leaders passed a transportation plan this evening that tops $1 billion. As you see, News Channel 5's Jason Lamb joins us live tonight. And he has a look at what this plan will and won't do. Jason. Well, Rory, for one, it will not build a light rail. That was part of the transportation plan, the much bigger plan from two years ago that voters turned down. But this one will do smaller things like filling potholes and expanding sidewalks. Now, Metro Council members approved the plan after voting not to delay the vote for two more meetings. Much of the concern tonight was over whether passing the proposal would keep Nashville from getting state and federal grant money. The mayor's office urged passage of the plan so they can apply for those funds, and most council members backed the mayor. The transportation plan for the city of Nashville is a long time coming. We need to start somewhere. I have a, a deep concern about us getting lost in analysis paralysis. Uh, this uh, creates a framework. It allows us to be more competitive for state and federal grants. Now, the transportation plan includes more than 1900 improvements like fixing potholes and resurfacing streets, and it would add 38 miles of sidewalks, bikeways and greenways. Another difference here from the 2018 plan, this plan does not require a tax increase, which is why Nashville voters didn't have to approve it. Those in favor of the plan say it doesn't keep anyone from changing items in the future, but those against it say passing it tonight while the city is still facing tough budget decisions wasn't the right call. And right now, folks, you know, we can't get our spending under control. And we're talking about something that could be $1.6 billion or higher. And the majority of that will be additional debt. So I cannot support any part of this. We've already heard from WeGo Public Transit after the vote tonight, praising the Metro Council's decision. Live in Donaldson tonight, Jason Lamb, News Channel 5.